So I, I would say uh, the, these issues uh, are, someone can go to, for example, most people now, when they count, like for example, this idiot, and again, say idiot, not a couple, the one who became later possibly a couple, the one in America, who started this marvelous work about the number 19, it's, a, it's, it's a miraculous aspects and so on. He got stuck with, 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 with Huff's reading, thinking that's the, the Quran, but as I say, he's an idiot, without verifying what's the, how to number eyes and so on, until he came to the two last ayahs of Surah Tawbah are actually not in the, are not in the Quran. They become then an idiot, possibly even a kafir. Went ballistic, lost his mind, and ultimately ended believing that he's a prophet and things like that. I think he's mental. The poor guys I think, have a mental disease. But because he did not, you remember we discussed the, the counting of the ayat of the Quran and how to add the, the basmala and all of these things. And we concluded that the only counting which, is, which we can rely upon for various reasons, and we mentioned the reason at the early time, let me mention them again now in a summary, is the count of, uh, of Medina and the count of the Basra in the branch of Duri, not the other count of Basra, the count of Duri. And the reason for that is that historically, the reading of the Duri is in the, is, uh, and the count is in the Mustahif of Sudan and uh, Middle Africa, since centuries, like before computers have invented and so on. It's number one. The reading of, of, uh, of uh, Nafi' with both branches, Warsh and, uh, and, and uh, Qalun spread in North America, Africa, Iran, and the Masahif are, are available for centuries. And they are all fit exactly the same counting principle and the same counting numbers. And the total number of ayahs of the surah in a, uh, the, the, the intrinsic eyes of the surah, ex excluding the basmala, if there's a basmala, which is everywhere except in surah Tawba. And if you add all the, the 113 basmala to them, we get a number which is divisible by 19, which has, has re related to the number of 19. So it's just another hint of the importance of number 19. But this is all before well established and in the hand of the people, millions of people, well before computer have been invented, well before the number, the issue of number 19 and computerization has come. So this we regard as like metaphysical evidence for the, for the disnumbering. And these two, two, two re readers and three uh, narrators agreeing and millions of people and cool areas of Muslim world. Unfortunately, the majority, and also we argued that the fact that Hafs does not have a consistent system in, in, in counting the, the huruf muqatta'a, the disconnected letters, alif lam mim, alif lam mim ra, alif lam mim sad, etc. Uh, in some places, he counts them as separate ayah, like in Al-Baqarah. In other places, he doesn't count them. There's a consistent rule. While we have, for example, all other readers do not count them except the, 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 the Hamsi reader. The Hamsi reader can, doesn't count them except in Surah Al-Shura. Uh, he counts Hamim, Ayn, Sinqaf, two ayahs. Everywhere else, he doesn't count them. So we have the, we have the discord, discordance there. The rest, all the rest of readers, they don't count them as ayah at all including Basri and Madari. So that must be the correct one, which shows the half, the half count cannot be the correct one. There's some error there. So we have to, to so you have to do these things before indulging into deeper and, and more complex issues of counting ayahs and counting words. You have to settle certain questions. Question for if you count, for example, the words of the Quran, you have to define what's the word. Obviously, in Arabic, the word was written together as mulsaqa. Now, the issue of the wow. The wow, for example, in most Egyptian writing, modern writing at least, is regarded as a separate word. But all other writings and also the old Masahif seem to be indicated the wow is part of the word which comes after. Waqalu is one word. Waqalu. And this seems to be the correct one. So if you count the words, you have to count it this way. Ten words. If you count our severity, it will be 11 words. So you have to put a certain principle and stick to it consistently through the Quran. That's concerning counting the words. And counting the words have certain importance in certain prophecies and certain uh, single, uh, miraculous aspect of the word, uh, the word 90. Then, in addition to that, 
we have the issue of, uh, of, uh, of counting the letters. Then we have to go to the initial uh, Uthmani writing. And this is very, very difficult to discern, but it, it can be extracted. But if you check, for example, various programs which even count letters of the Quran, you find various programs now available. And they, they all, they have some variations in matter counting of the words because they have variations in, in the Uthmani script, the initial Uthmani script, the one with the dots, etc., to get that of the old Musahif. So some verification and work has to be done there. One of them seems to be closest. I'm not saying it's the correct one. Why I'm concluding this course? Because it seems to be bringing the following result without being preempted. It's the, the program is designed long ago and it's available and the text is there, extracted. It ends with the following result. Surat Nuh ends having in this count, having 950 letters. But it's very interesting because 950 is the number of years Nuh was giving da'wah to his people. Interesting, fitting with the Surah Nuh. But not only that, 950 is also a multiple of 19. Independent of that. So all of these are interesting things. But that's not, it's not an absolute truth, but it tips the balance inside of this third program. It's two or three, or three programs that the text, which has been extracted from from various documents by, by, by this program, and uh, obviously available as text file. I, I think I, I asked someone to, to extract that, to go to the, the program, and uh, I think it's available as a text in the program, but maybe as a database, he can extract the text from it. Seems to be the closer one, but that's not, it's not absolute. We have to verify almost every eye and every place. So we, we have we have, we have to do some 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 work in this direction before we we indulge in numerics and things like that, which is I think is it's is, is an important discipline, and we are getting there. It's, it's, matters are getting mature in that direction, but uh, uh, it will be fool foolish to go in, in that direction before. Uh, also, how do we count the uh, the the. Uh, the the eyes of the surah is clear. We discussed that also in earlier in, in, in uh, when we started uh, uh, the, these halakas. We discussed that uh, the, the basmala should be not counted from the surah, but regarded as ayah number zero. Uh, we can call it the ayah number zero of the ayah of the, of the surah. So when we talk about the count of the surah, we mean the number of the last ayah in the surah. Let's say we fix the numbers according to to uh, uh, to. Uh, to Nafi and, and the Duri Abi Amr, as we say, this is the valid one until now, until proven otherwise. I think this is the valid, I think this evidence for that is overwhelming. Then, for example, Al Fatiha is seven ayahs. Al Fatiha, not like Hafs, Hafs is, is also seven ayahs, but seven ayahs regarding Al Fatiha as Al Basmala as number one, which is wrong because this does not uh, synchronize with all other readers. So we have to. We have to renumber inside. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Maliki, Yawm, Al-Din, Iyaka, Na'budu, Iyaka, Nasta'in, Ahdina, Al-Sarat, Al-Mustaqim, Salat, Al-Ladina, An'amta, Alayhim, One Ayah, Ghair, Al-Maghdubi, Alayhim, Wala, Al-Dhani, Seven, and Basmala is number zero. So if everything is consistent, for example. But if we ask ourselves, what is the number, what is the numbering or the order of the Ayah, ذلك الكتاب ولا ريب في هدى للمتقين in Surah Al-Baqarah, in the Quran, not in Surah Al-Baqarah. In Surah Al-Baqarah, it is number one because Alif Lam Mim, that Alif Lam Mim is not an ayah according to the correct counting. So it is number one. That Kitab Al Arab Alif Lam Mim, that Kitab Al Arab Fihi, when Mutaqin number ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah, and the best one of Baqarah is number zero. But what is its order in the Quran? Its order, the Quran is containing everything, including the best one. So the best one of of Fatiha plus seven Fatiha, that's eight. Plus best one of Fatiha, that's nine. And then the first one in Baqarah is 10. That's the system which you have to follow because you cannot regard, if you look at the Quran as a whole, you cannot take the, the, the Basmala out of it. If you look at the Surah, the Basmala is just number zero. It's not counted as an ayah of the Surah. It is a separating ayah, but it's ayah of the Quran with certitude. So the count has to be in a consistent system. Consistent system is like that. 
ذلك الكتاب لا يرجو للمتقين الف لام ميم ذلك الكتاب لا كوريكت كاونت از ذس ايه نمبر 1 بات اتس نمبر وات اي سيد 10 ريليتيف تو ذا قران تو ذا توتال قران ات از نمبر 1 ان بقره ان نمبر 10 ووتش اوبفيسلي نوت وات وي هاف ان حفص ان حفص وي هاف ات وي دونت نو هاو تو كاونت از نوت ذير از نو كونسيستنت وي بات ايفن اف وي كاونت ان حفص اكوردنج تو ان حفص ات ويل ات ويل كام رونج بيكوز ات ويل بي الفاتحه ويل بي الفاتحه ويل بي 7 because he counted the basmala wrongly then we have the basmala of baqara is uh, if we follow the same principle it will be will be 8 and then alif lam will be will be 9 and this will be, will be number 10 accidentally there will be that will be number 10 because because the error in the fatih has corrected by error in alif lam mim but that's only accidental here another place it will not correct but just by accident but consistently we have to follow that just take this example Starting from Al Fatiha. So, if when we have some people doing prophecies and so on, which I'm very doubtful, by the way, like uh, Sheikh Bassam Zarrah, he has very nice prophecies and very nice issues, which is worth looking at. Anyway, I'm not saying it's completely wrong, but I'm still, until I have verified uh, the various things of counts, he says this ayah is number 400 or 3000 so from the beginning of the Quran. Which count he has used? If it is not a consistent one, A proven one. I say the proven one is that what I said. Because in the counting, I have no doubt about this counting. The counting of uh, Nafi and uh, Duri Abu Amr is the absolute one. I am not going to give that up definitely. I don't think there's any other count will stand. It's enough to say that the count in Hafs is wrong because the, the Alif Lam Mim is given number one in Baqarah or given elsewhere certain numbers and other or Muqatta are not given the numbers. And this does not synchronize with the other readers. And this is singular. Is an oddity in the in, in between the seven readers and the ten readers and the forty readers also cannot be accepted. Must be discounted. Must be a mistake. Must be not that. It's a minor mistake. It doesn't violate anything. The Quran is not violated by that. But it's only an external issue related to account. But it will not help us in getting issues related numerical and miracle aspects. We have to forget about this one. So that's one one. And then how to count from the beginning of the Quran, I said, we must because the Basmalas are definitely part of the Quran. We said that you, they are not outside the Quran. They are not, they are not like the name of the Surah, Surah Al-Baqarah. This is not a Quran. We know that's not a Quran. We don't say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Surah Al-Baqarah, al me. We don't need that. We know that's not a Quran. That is just, just the name of the Surah. Just a title. And the reason it's enclosed in, a, in between bars and so on. Everyone knows that. But the Basmala is definitely part of the Quran. It's a statute. So if we count from uh, the, any ayah in the Quran, how, what, is, what is its order in the Quran as it is? And the order of the Masahib is also by Tawqif. All Masahib in the world are in this order. Even I, I mentioned also the story that, that uh, Ibn al-Nadim in his Fihrist, he heard a story about, uh, he says, Allah, he is Shia, by the way. He said, according to Al-Amma, according to our people, Khasa, he called him the Khasa, the, 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 the elite. <laughs> <laughs> According to the elite, Ali has a mushaf, has written a mushaf when he secluded himself after the death of Rajda. All this imaginary story, which is fabricated anyway. Uh, a mushaf according to the order of revelation. But nowhere in the world is such mushaf. This man is objective. He's a, he's a scientist. He's, he's a man of knowledge. Nowhere. And then he hear that some people having in Kufa, a mushaf of Ali, with his hand writing or something. So he said, he took the trouble and traveled to Kufa. At that time, trouble was, was a nightmare. Don't think it's back today. Just take a plane and just have to accumulate and maybe get from a bar of a couple of thousand. No, no. It was sometimes life threatening. Traveled to Kufa, met these people. They brought that from, they were saving it very, very meticulously. Say, I scrutinize it. It is the old script. I don't, he did not say what's the old script. Most likely he missed the Hijaz script, which is good, looks good. And the, the, the parchment, the, the skin, it's on skin, on parchment, not in paper. That's in the fourth century. Paper was, nobody was using skin anymore. So the parchment is old. So he could, from just by eyesight, by scrutinizing, he's a man of scholarship, man of books and so on, scrutinizing just by, by eyesight, by Cornelia. It's old. It seems to be from Ali's writing. It could be very well Ali really written. Unfortunately, we don't have that. Maybe it appears one day. We don't know. Anyway. And he said, and they checked the order and so on. It is the same order we have in our Masahib. 
So what the, what the khasa or the elite are claiming doesn't seem to be true. So this only mushaf in the world, someone claiming it belongs to Ali, is in the same order we have now. Fatiha, Baqara, this, that, 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 exactly what they have. Say, so say, Wallahu a'lam, I don't know. That's, if, if this Ali is mushaf, then this story is not true. And if the story is true, this is not Ali's mushaf. I say the story is not true. Definitely is not true. It's rubbish. This is, and is it Ali's mushaf? Allahu alam. Most likely it's Ali's mushaf. And most likely it's gone. Because it's still Khat al-Qadim. Khat al-Qadim, most likely he refers to the, the old script who he knows, which is the Hijaz script. Most likely. So maybe this is the one who Ali wrote to him. So the order, we don't need to discuss the order. Only how to count probably. So all these things have to be established. So going back, summarizing, uh, we, we repeated maybe the first and second halas. It's good to repeat from time to time because these things may come. It's not the claim that these the, the critic marks or these uh, uh, intrinsic punctuation of the letters are revelation or not revelation is uh, uh, is, uh, is is not is not uh, uh, is not formulated properly. It's not for me. They may have been omitted initially, deliberately by the revelation, allowing various variations of dotting and various variations, deliberately by Allah SWT, if he's the revealer of the Quran, which is the hypothesis we are starting with, the fundamental hypothesis, which is the relevant for us. And we build on that. And none there, none there will come back refuting the initial hypothesis, nothing contradicts the initial hypothesis, simply because every other dot is either gibberish or a very sen uh, uh, something which have good sense, makes good sense. Even if the sense is secondary of not like even this idiot Vision Wood when he uh, uh, changed Najiya into Nujuba. It did not motivate the Quran, make anything wrong or anything, no. It just made it, uh, they were, uh, they, they departed him and they were in back of their camels. I could care the less of it. Nothing wrong with that. Maybe they were about in their comments. But Najiya, they were discussing each other, which is clear by the next ayah. And the oldest one of them to listen, I'm not going to go back to your dad after what you what you have and what we have met, what the problem we did with Yusuf in time past. You go and tell him that has happened. We have witnesses for that. And unless he permit me to come back, I'm not going to go back. I'm going to stay here. I'm not going to face him. I'm not able to face him. That makes better sense that we were discussing that. And discussing with low voice, clearly or not, screaming at each other in public. That's Najiya. Nujuba is not good. But is it Kufr? No. So I think this is a good summary. That's a good, well balanced summary. And maybe the secret in the Quran hidden by this by this way, which will come in the future. So I wouldn't go into extreme in that. That's 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 not that's not good scholarship, and that's not good uh, uh, logical and, and philosophical discourse. Logic of scripture, make this assumption, this assumption, what is this to determine? Is this assumption leading to internal contradiction? Then the Quran is not from Allah, that's fine, but it doesn't lead to any contradiction. The first one. Besides, we have all the independent evidences of property, but even there, there's nothing leading to any contradiction whatsoever. The other assumptions are refuted by their internal contradiction. It's from Muhammad. That's not possible. How can a human being? who is a master liar and deceptor, get, get himself in this trouble. Almost like he even can read and write, so why he will omit the dots in the first place? That's not, that does not, does not make any sense. This definitely does not make any sense. That's not the way deceiver and political uh, skilled uh, manipulator work. Is he overwhelmed by his subconscious somehow, some subconscious disease, he mentally deranged? How to explain that? What will be the motivation? What's in his past on environment and history to explain that? Is it the devil? Is the devil capable of having something consistent like that? Then he's a divine power. That's impossible. We have got, forgotten that's the time of Marcion and so on, and this refused the, 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 some, some, some Christian claim that he's being inspired by the devil. Or it is the other devil, the devil is not capable of doing that. I think this, this is the way to do things in a really, consistent rational discourse. That's the way to go. So, Sheikh, just to summarize, so in this, uh, without having access to the original quotes from Imran Hussein, this, this whole mentality of he having doubts in this issue or, or putting this into that it's not backed 
He's not in a, it's, it, it's what we have is by the water. And somebody to make a counterclaim, they need to bring their evidence ultimately, rather than just making it some yeah, kind of- but, but let's, let's get, uh, let someone, uh, if, why, why we uh, judge something which we don't have the details, where is his quote? And let's see the details. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to find the original uh, video. But also, I have there's a, there's a recording. Uh, unfortunately, I think that somehow Mukhtar has been checked out. He is usually following Balush. Balush has a video saying about the diacritic mark. I think he's also responding to Amran Hussein about the diacritic marks in the Quran. I think he's discussing Amran Hussein. Let us see what what Amran Hussein exactly said, so we can analyze it more probably. But the general principle, I think I what I gave now, I believe this is a good general. I saw that. I thought maybe this is related to these issues and something like that. But I discussed some issues in my mind and saw some people and also someone actually, some guy I met uh, several years ago with uh, uh, with some of the brothers here in, in, in Enfield, around Enfield and so on. And he was uh, stuck in these issues and he even have the I have an, even a, a copy of, uh, of uh, uh, Al Rahmatullah book which shows even with pictures of the original writing of the Quran, some old parchments and so on without, without dots and things like that. And then he started doubting issues and so on. And they, they told me later that he became more tired. I don't know what has happened to him. I didn't meet, meet him after that. Uh, but because he, because he, 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 he went with an upside down logic. I, that's the reason I needed to clarify and insisted to clarify that we have to do various hypotheses and go from there. I would say the omission uh, the, uh, the, the, is very important to follow the following fundamental thing. The, the intrinsic dotting of, 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 of characters is uh, available in Arabic at the time of the Prophet, even before. It has been omitted in the Quran deliberately. Most likely, either Allah forced, uh, which is not very likely because it will be all, everything miraculous. No, his messenger told them to omit these deliberately. Which, which, which synchronized very well that after the revelation, after some time, maybe later in the later writings when was, things were combined to the Quran, he has got some basic reading and writing, which is very reasonable and very acceptable. Should not be, because some people think this is violates that, that he was a little. That's not true. Whatever the Quran says, You were not able to write or read any book before. Otherwise, the, the people of falsehood will be in doubt. That's the time within Mecca, and this continued in Mecca for a certain time, and things were well, only uh, committed to memory and a bit of writing, like the scroll which Umar read about Taha and things like that, very little. And later in Medina, when things settled nicely, and uh, Abdullah bin Amr bin Asr embraced Islam later, that's between uh, after Hudaybiyah. And before, maybe because he most likely immigrated with his father, may he be immigrated ahead of his father, we don't know, but in that time, these for last four years, then things were committed. That is enough time to at least know the shapes of the letters and the dots and all that. Now, don't put a dot here, dot here. That's it, simple. Um, so, and that's, that's part of the miraculous nature of the Quran, not the opposite. It is more supporting the miraculous nature than the opposite because it, it contradicts any normal human behavior or satanic behavior. That's not the way said and works, nor human, human conscious human or subconscious human work. If, they, if you write your, your, your life book or, or the book you regard as the main things of your life and you, and you hold reading and, 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 uh, and uh, combination sessions, you, 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 you would be insisting on having every dot and even he may have, he may have been even uh, ordered people to do the tashkil at that time, even importing the tashkil of the Jews. Because uh, Abdullah ibn Salam is there, he's a converted Jew and scholar. Uh, uh, Ubay ibn Ka'b is there, they have the tashkil. They could suggest to him and he could accept if he would have been an imposter. But no, even, even the dots of the letter have been omitted deliberately. Let's contradict anything with imposterhood or with, with, with mentally derangement or anything. He said something odd, something bordering on, on, the, on the absurd or the miraculous. The, the miraculous looks from the other side as if it's absurd because it does not fit normal human behavior. That's the way to go. The rest, fine points about the critical things that we can't see what Amr Hussein is saying. Maybe he has a point. I would advise strongly not to jump with the gun in these things. That's a, that's, that would be a grave mistake. Could be a deadly mistake even. Maybe the man is right. Man is right. Maybe he's objecting certain things 
like some some because when you see about Quran, <laughs> usually it means poor guy, most likely it means hafs. I think also Sheikh Balush thinks hafs. All of them think hafs is the Quran. Quran is hafs. No, Quran is a reading of the Quran. A certain their critical marks to the Quran. Not all, not all the Quran, not what I revealed. That revealed, as I said, the original script with dots removed and so on with the divine intention, if it's a divine revelation to allow certain readings and certain meanings and certain things and possibly things to come later down the road, which we don't have now. Why we exclude that? I don't see any reason for excluding that. Just the opposite. I see we should keep the door open. You see what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so that's that's it. So let someone just sit in his bum. Sorry to say that. Cut that away from the video, and get that's what Imran has said. What Imran has said, 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 even his recording, and let us scrutinize it. I think it's maybe worth. Not that the man is going ballistic and matter of his catology and things like that. And, and according to Balush, he's doing entertainment. Okay, fine, maybe it's entertainment. But I have no problem with that. But. I have a real problem if he's such an issue is not scrutinized much better than that. Maybe he has a point that someone is blatantly wrong or, 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 or went off tangent because he got confused about a certain point about some hadith or corrected some hadith or reports and gave them, gave, gave them more, more, more value than, for example, one of his mistakes. Was, but he cannot be blamed for that mistake. For example, he only claimed the conversion of Ayah Sophia by force into a masjid and so on is, is, is a shame for the Uthmani. It turns out to be all not true. We know that with the commentary evidence that was not converted by force. The Muhammad al-Fatih negotiated with the, with the, I don't know the name of the, of the, of the Pope of the, of the, of the Orthodox Church at the time because the Church of the Orthodox, the, the Russian Orthodox one or the Eastern Orthodox one has split from Rome. They have their own Pope negotiated with him very respectfully and paid a considerable sum of money, more than, and we know that the churches, since ancient time until now, they have no problem with selling churches. And he paid more, considerable more than the value at the time, I think. And all of that recorded in a document, and that document was in a court scrutiny for decades. And ultimately the secular court of Turkey decided that this is a work and should be respected, should be returned back. And the action of Ataturk is against the principle of work and the principle of, of, of fundamental law, which all humans agree upon, that works and endowments should be respected. That's the common law of England, the common law of the Turks, the common law of the Mongols, everyone law. Endowments are usually respected. Nobody violates them except in an unjustified way. Or if, if the work contains conditions which are unjust or, or, or oppressive, then the court should, should decide to uh, amend them. That's the way to do with, with endowments. And we have now the ruling. I came to know that only recently. I think the Turks are to blame that, to blame that they did not broadcast that earlier and give us this information. I was actually shocked to this information. So if the if you say this an eternal shame for the Uthmani and so on, yeah, it's a bit excessive to say that in that form. Yes. But still he has a point. He was unaware about that point. I was not aware. I think all of you were not aware. So I, I would advise myself and everyone not to go excessively in these things. Neither him, obviously, to go with eternal shame. It's not an eternal shame. It's a mistake of one, <laughs> one, one sultan. We know kings are committing all, all kinds of blunders and mistakes. Cannot be attributed to Islam, even if he had done it like this way. It's shameful, yes. And we should, should be denounced, yes, if it has been like that. But on the other hand, it turns out to be not like that. His eschatology, I think the problem is that he is not, and you cannot blame all the subcontinental scholars and also because I think, I don't know if he's from a Shia background or he's inclined to Shiism or so whatever it is, they are generally tend to be less scrutinizing a hadith than Sunni. But also Sunni, they have their own muscle blunders in a hadith, especially about Akhar Zaman and so on. They have tons of filth there anyway, both of them, both parties. Well, the Shia have a, even an extra load because of this, the one in, 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 in the tunnel in, 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 in Samarra and so on, this imaginary figure in Samarra, they are stuck with it, believing a couple of liars there who have been fabricating stories and so on.
but uh, it can happen. Such fabricating story can, can influence the religion or the direction for, for millennia. Look at current Christianity. Few fabricated things of, or a few mis misleading and confusing statements from Paul was sufficient to undermine all. I, I was listening just uh, yesterday to a video or uh, an American convert to Islam said, I'm appeal to my American brothers. If you want to be good Christian, become Muslims because Islam add more, give you the real reality of Christ. And then he read various, I know these things, but when he reads from them from the other side, it sounds different. He read various statements from Mark and from Matthew. And which is a silly clearly to someone, if you want the eternal life, you want a paradise, then keep the commandments. And the more biggest command is that, uh, hey, listen, Israel, our Lord is one. Our God is one. And he says clearly, I'm, he says, you are you are good man, good master. Tell me, say, why you call me good? There's only one God. That's God. Our God in heaven. And he was praying to this God. So, so many things. And still, the people are stuck with a misinterpretation or a misrepresentation of Paul going ballistic in, 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 in giving uh, Christ excessive languages. Although Paul says clearly, everyone knows there's only one God. He said that. We were discussing the issue of sacrificing to the idols. So it doesn't matter. Let me sacrifice what there is only in the imagination. We know there's only one God. So you can eat it. That's obviously this is a false argument, but there's not an issue there. And Christ is, is, is our Lord. He used the word Kirion, not Dios. So still the misunderstanding there and dug deeper and deeper and fabricate or came along the line and added stories and imaginary things until become a whole completely pagan religion. So it can happen. The only way after that is just to go to really principles of reason and scrutinize things more thoroughly and go more dig history more, more cleanly and go to original sources and scrutinize them. You will get shocked at many things which you assume to be, well. Another, another massive problem is when yeah. you look at prophecies, you know, for example, the narration talking about the, the, the two bags Abu Huraira talked about. For someone to take something which is inherently not, not necessarily to the same level of scrutiny as a uh, ahkam, and yeah. then make hukum from it. So, for example, exactly. he builds an entire construct. I haven't heard everything that he says because, I, to be honest, I can't really stomach him. But when he starts to back Bashar or he backs Putin based off of some kind of yeah. narrative he's built. So, even, even Prophet, hey, you know, in Usul, Usul, he builds something. So, you build something on Because, because his Usul is also faulty. He's building on the classical Usul. Which have fundamental faults also. But even even classical assault doesn't doesn't take a, something that's prophecy and make a hukum from it unless yeah, it's no 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 this uh, the, the other assaults may have that they may have that very well if they if they if if Imam Shafi allows for ijma of a generation to abrogate the previous ijma and the future ijma can be the previous one then you can do that the same one I don't see any difference between that. Fine, there's a logical inconsistency, but within That's that, right. same, the same, the same is the same. It's the, it's the same disease. It's the same disease. If you don't go to the fundamental usul, that the Quran is the fundamental, and the revelation ended by the death of Rasulullah. After that, everything has to go back to that and scrutinize it. Whatever it is, prophecy, hukum, anything, then you you will you will you will go. It's, it's, it, you will find many people constructing that these all these rebelling against uh, uh, against Bashar actually because they want to de demolish the graves of Al Bayt, they are enemies of Al Bayt and so on. You will find this construction. Many Shia think this way. Therefore, you back someone who kills ba <laughs> live babies and children. Rather... Uh, uh, look at the Saudis now. What they are doing in Yemen? Many thousands of Saudis believe that the Yemeni are kafir. Come on, uh, uh, let, let's be well balanced. It's, it's not like, it's not as easy as you think. As long as you don't go to the fundamental school and clean them thoroughly, you will, you will be you will be falling in one trap or another. The I, same I, I, one, I, the same, you, you see, you, you see, uh, you can co consistently apply the same school to the Saudis who uh, are doing in Yemen and fighting under the banner of the kuffar and fulfilling the agenda of Israel and so on. The same one with with the, with, with, with with what's happening in, with with Bashar and so on. They he is not able to do that. Because his usul and his, his preconditions are wrong. Affiliations too. 
Yeah, and affiliations too. Yeah, that's a problem. And how are also inclinations? It's very difficult to overcome your inclination and your upbringing also. Anyway, I'm not defending the man or the type, but I'm saying we have to be a little bit more, especially in this point when it comes to the Quran and things that fundamental, we have to get exactly what he said and what's going on and where he must have applied it to a certain ayah or a certain hadith or something like that. Let us see what, what's there. It's, it's worth really the, the work. I, I think hearsay, hearsay is not good. There must be some recording there. Maybe Balush is quoting him. But even we shouldn't rely on Balush quotation. Although I think Balush seemed to be reasonable with Balush, but still he may be having a wrong quote. And, and nowadays we, there's no excuse because the people have their own recording and their own meetings, and then we can't see what they said and what they wrote. And then we can analyze it and see what it is. Sometimes it's a lapse of tongue, sometimes it's a, a bad formulation, sometimes it's formulated precisely and exactly, and then we can then account on that, that reason. For example, this, if, if, if you, for that, for example, this one, for example, this, this recording today, if you process it maybe quickly and, uh, and broadcast it quickly because it's like an odd one out, you will see many people commenting, oh, Masha'al declared the Quran is being, you can't vary and add the Quran, the, the right, rewrite the Quran according to your wishes, or you can rewrite the Quran according to meaning. <laughs> you will find that. You'll find people. You'll find donkeys making that comment. You'll find. Just put it in YouTube and see which comments are there. <laughs> <No problems. laughs> you will be surprised. <laughs> Anyway, I think it is very productive today that we did that because from time to time we need to go to these fundamental issues and give them because, first of all, it's important to refresh our mind about that. Secondly, uh, there may be issues coming from time to time, obviously, worth, uh, worth giving, uh, giving another, uh, like another uh, cover of uh, new paint because the old paint has become, become a little bit uh, pale. So we have to paint it new to, to enforce them or remove the old paint if it's not good and said, oh, we made a mistake, we have to paint it another color, that's fine. We should, we should improve, we should dynamically continue. Whatever, whatever comes along of new developments and new ideas. But I think, I hope, I hope I've summarized the issue, the issues where I'm more, getting more and more interested about these issues of numerics and numerology, but for that, I will not go in there in any deeper unless we have really established uh, getting uh, as a, a clean text, according to the Uthmani writing, as clean as possible. And there are a few, and they say, just need a little bit more work. Hopefully someone listening to that will have the energy and the time to sit and then go back and scrutinize one by one, step by step. Secondly, establish the principle of counting in, and then just, uh, and then develop, there are also some programs in place, maybe we can develop them further, and we go from there. We may detect something, Interesting and marvelous, which we have missed until now. Okay, I think that's uh, that's a good one. But for concerning Amran Hussein, I think this is very important. We should we should get uh, let someone or someone who follow him get the relevant videos, or at least start with Baluch video, which is in 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 in, uh, uh, in YouTube. I saw I said the title, but didn't go in the same um, maybe because I saw. Uh, eschatology and intelligence say maybe he's mocking Umrah Hussein. I don't want to indulge, indulge in mocking him, but but it seems to be reasonable, more or less, more, 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 much more reasonable than the average. But someone can start with there and then see what, what, where he's quoting him. Maybe he's mentioning the reference, and then we can go from there. Okay, I think it's worth. Yeah. Okay. Till next week, inshallah. لا تنسى الإعجاب والاشتراك في القناة